Hello and welcome. I'm Jake Langs of the Pondologist with another Aqua Eden video. Today I want to show you how I get a fish out of a pond after it's frozen over. Um, a dead fish that is, as much wouldn't be doing this if they were alive. Um, I have a, a fish pass away here. It's probably about 13, 14 inches. And I don't want to let it sit on the bottom all winter long. By the spring it'll be total mush and it's not good to have those dead bodies breaking down bacteria and stuff for the other fish. Got about 100 other koi in here. There's a couple skimmers going, aerators going, and uh, unfortunately this fish's final resting spot ended up being on the, the deepest part of the pond, right in the middle of the pond, so I can't really net from all, in the sides of, by the skimmers or this waterfall here in the background that I shut off so you can hear me better. Um, first thing you do before getting on the ice obviously is know your thickness. We've had some really good cold temperatures here. Uh, it's about 30 degrees now, so um, I still got to uh, test this. I drilled a hole here, just saw about four inches of ice. Not a lot, but enough to do what I want to do. Uh, anytime I'm working on the pond, always the first thing to do on the ice that is, pull out the cell phone. I have fallen through the ice on this pond before in the spring. I was kind of messing around doing some stupid stuff I shouldn't have. But uh, right now we have some really good solid clear ice. It's almost like glass when it froze, so I can see the fish down there on the bottom, and that's how I noticed this one fish. So let's get started. All right, I have my chainsaw here, about ready to cut through the ice. Um, one thing, I'm not going to do this in this video, but if you do a little bit more planning and forethought than I did, um, you can fill the oil reservoir with vegetable oil versus the bar oil. Um, kind of running out of time here, and as you can see, the temperatures are kind of warming up, so I'm kind of getting some water on the ice, so I kind of want to cut this hole pretty quick. Another quick tip before I get it started, one other thing. When you're doing the cutting here, I like to try to cut my basic shape out with actually with not going all the way through the ice, just to uh, have a little bit less water to uh, get in and mix with the oil and spray around. So I'll kind of cut my shape out, and then at the very end, I'll go around and trim off the remaining part to get the little mini iceberg that I'm trying to make here. So. Okay, now we have a floating chunk of ice here. Now it is tempting to pull it out and look at a nice pretty piece of ice, but the easiest way to do is just push it and slide it back underneath. So there I just pushed it, slid it back underneath, have a nice open hole here where I can stick my net down. Okay, I have my net. You can use any type of net. This is more of a pool net. It's not one of my favorites for skimming leaves because they're kind of cheap and bend and break a lot, but I like the telescoping handle on this and it's going to work good for getting a fish out. Here's our poor fish. You don't need to see the details of that, but I'm just going to get dispose of him properly. And uh, once it uh, gets cold again, this ice hole will freeze back over and we'll be good to go. But at least we got that uh, the dead body out of there so it's not sitting there all winter long. Okay, you'll now notice down here in the helix skimmer on this pond that some of the oil is collecting on the top, so I'll just kind of take a little thing, uh, sorry, a little cup here and just kind of skim it off the top. And get some of that residual oil and we're good to go. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. And as always, have a good time and enjoy your pond. <laughs>